Got a quick video for you today. I thought we'd take a look at another Think Tank product. This time it's the Stuff It version 3. And I picked this up just to add to the bag that I got a few months ago. So I thought this would do the job in terms of storing accessories, things like batteries and memory cards. You'll notice going through the unboxing, we do have a flexible pouch at the front. So if you want something where you have quick access to, maybe a phone or something like that, you can just push it into the front pocket there. As far as the construction and materials, Think Tank do make some nice stuff in terms of their quality. Rather than the normal metal tabs that you get on some zippers, we've got these rather decent quality ones with the plastic tabs on. A bit easier to grab, although it is just a single zip on both the compartments with this. I know some people might prefer to have two zips on each one. Opening up with the front compartment, we do have some slots there for a card. Next to that, we have two pen holders. The idea with this is the outer one is really for a normal sized pen, so you can just push that in there. The one next to it is much wider, so you'll be able to fit something like a lens pen or an equivalent cleaning pen next to that. The compartment at the back is made really for a notebook size, you'll be able to fit one in there. And the specific size for this is around about an A6. You'll be able to fit that in there without a problem, although it is a standard size. Sometimes the binding can be a bit larger on some of these, but it does fit in. Just need to push it under the seams. There's a fair amount of space in the pouch overall, and that's because it obviously expands out and material does have a bit of flex. The back compartment is padded, and there's also a bit of padding on the bottom. They do mention things like the pro camera batteries, which are bigger than the standard ones, and things like the wireless flash triggers. You will be able to fit those in. There is definitely enough space to do that, but it's really down to you what you want to put into this. For me personally, I'm trying to get items like batteries in there, battery charger possibly, a couple of extra cleaning cloths, a few cables, and obviously things like spare memory cards. These are items that I would want to have easy and fast access to. You do have the carry loop on there, but there is no way to attach a strap or anything like that. I'm going to be using this mostly attached to a bag and using those Velcro connectors and they are quite strong. They're also pretty wide as well and you can see that it does go around onto the sides so it will hold it in place quite firmly. You'll notice this white thick plastic part and that's if you are using the Think Tank belt system that will go through that. This will fit onto a lot of bags as long as you have a horizontal point to attach it to. On the underside, this has a built-in rain cover and the previous version, as far as I'm aware, that was removable, but this is sewn into the fabric itself, so you can't actually take that out. Although it does give a bit of additional padding at the bottom, it will cover the whole bag. I'm not sure I'd be using this myself because I have a bigger cover for the main bag, which would cover this as well. Seams on this are taped, so it's fully waterproof can be a bit tricky to put this away. So what I recommend is just sort of fold it neatly and then sort of turn the sides in. You'll be able to get it into place a bit easier. If you're looking for something a bit smaller, they do a little stuff it, which is really aimed at things like a mobile phone and a few other bits. With the retrospective bag, it's easy enough to fit it to this on the side horizontal straps. And therefore I have access to all the items that I want quickly and easily. The Think Tank stuff is nice quality. It is a bit on the pricey side, but hopefully it will hold up long term. If you want to use one of the Think Tank belts, you can attach it to that as well. Here's a quick shot of some of the items that I've managed to fit inside the case. You can do other things, for example, power banks, medication, for example. That wraps it up for me on this particular video. If you've got any questions, do drop a comment down below and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.